Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an object explosion effect without using any code, just using physics. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with every tutorial I upload to my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So the one thing to note about this, as I said, it's all done with physics. So each section of whatever object you want to give that explosion effect to must be its own individual object. Take this kind of temple-y, triangle-y, pyramid-y thing I have right here. It's basically made up of just a load of cubes. And currently, as it stands, it is just there. Not nothing happens to it. So we want to give the impression of all of them just go boom and explode outwards or upwards, uh, whichever way. So the main thing is make sure each one of those individual objects has a collider and a rigid body attached. This will enable it to basically react to the physical appearance, as it were, of another object inside. So obviously all this could be done using uh, C sharp, but why? We can create cool effects without even using code. So the way it's all done is go to game object, 3D object, and let's go with a sphere. All you need to do is put this sphere pretty much dead center of the explosion zone. So this sphere, think of it as ground zero. So I'm going to expand the sphere itself, five by five by five, and place it roughly in the center, somewhere around there. So it kind of bulges out like so. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the mesh renderer so it becomes invisible and then turn off the sphere itself. So if we have the sphere selected and press play, we can see everything is still as it should be. However, if we do this sphere now, you will see it appear, but it won't actually do anything. Remember when I said physics? That is the key to this. I cannot stress enough just how much physics are important. Now I'm hoping some of you have already realized what we need to do to the sphere. See, that was just me showing you, proving that things need to be done physically. And what is physics in these objects? That's right, it's a rigid body. So let's go to add component and type in rigid body. So that will now react to everything else around here that has the rigid body. So pressing play again, this time we'll have a different reaction. So if we turn it on, we have that explosion effect. Like I said, it's all about the physics. So we have just created a way to explode this particular game object without any scripting at all. And obviously you could use scripting to add in a line of code which makes the sphere appear. You know, you, you would have to do that, but you wouldn't have to do any more scripting to make the objects just go kaboom. And this will work with quite literally anything as long as it's in separate pieces. So to give you another example, over this side, I have what appears to be a big golden cube. So if I turn the camera around to look at just this one, and if I press play, it just looks pretty much like a big golden cube. There's, there's nothing massively special about it. However, the exact same physics can be used with that sphere. So if I turn it back on, bring it over here, and we can see in the middle, right there. So like I said, you're creating the epicenter of any explosion this way, and that is how it's done. Always keep it in the middle and keep an eye on the boundaries of the sphere itself. It doesn't necessarily have to be a sphere either, it could be any game object, as long as you have a collider and a rigid body attached. So if we turn the mesh renderer off, turn the sphere off, press play again, this random golden cube that we have will explode when we turn that sphere on. Like so. So, I, I, like I say, I know there's different ways of doing this. I know it's probably easier to do it scripted, but this kind of thing can create an effect that a script really can't. Like so. It can really create a different type of effect. And as I said, it's all about the physics. So, guys, I hope you've learned something there, and I hope you can actually use that cool effect in something within your game. Maybe it had some sound effects or whatever, but yeah. 
I quite like how that's done. And honestly, I think it's kind of cool. So guys, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope it's uh, helped. Don't forget, subscribe. Have a look at all my content. I'll see you around. Thank you very much for watching.